Hi folks, I am solving lead code stop 150 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. So in this video, we'll be solving 56 merge intervals. We are given an array of intervals where intervals i equals to start and end. We have to merge all the overlapping int intervals and return the array of non overlapping intervals. So in the example here, we are given this input and we can see that 1, 3 and 2, 6 overlaps to 1 and 6. And there is one more example where it's given 4, 7 and 1. Four. It shows the input that we are given is not sorted and it is also mentioned that uh, intervals 1, 4 and 4, 7 are considered overlapping. So let's try to draw this on a number line. 1 and 3 is somewhere here. Then we have 2 to 6. 2 to 6 could be somewhere here. And then we have 8 to 10 which could be this. And then we have 15 to 80. This is the representation of the above array. And let's say if we take another example, which is 4, 7 and 1, 4. So this is our 4, 7. And then we have to draw from 1 to 4, which could be somewhere from here to here. So if you see this example, it's a good idea to sort our intervals. To solve this, we can start from all of the starting points. And now we look at the first interval. It goes from 1 to 3. And we look at a second interval, which goes from 2 to 6. Since we looked at our previous interval, we know that this overlaps. So we will rewrite to 1 to 6. Similarly, we go from this interval to this interval and now this. This is what our output would be. The number line representation may seem like an overkill for this problem, but it really simplifies the problem for you. Since we decided to sort, the time complexity would be O of n log n. So let's look at the code on how we can solve this. We can start by defining our result and then we said we will sort the interval. It's, it's one liner in JavaScript. And to solve for h case, we will push the first element to this. Let's loop through our intervals and push elements. This is how we can get the current left and current right elements from interval set i. And now let's check for our immediate previous element. Res is our object and the last value we pushed was our very first element. And from here, we will take last left value and last right value. And then we can check if our current L is smaller than or equal to our last R, then we will have to update our results R because that is our last R results right side, which will be this element to maximum of current R or last R or else we would push the current L and current R. And now finally we will return our rest and we will start this for loop from first element. So let me run this. Yep, it does work. Hope you found this helpful. If yes, you can consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.